Hi, welcome back to Sotoku Tech. In my previous video, Helltech LoRa V3 range test, I had this interesting question in the comment section, basically asking, will the Helltech LoRa V2 work with the Helltech LoRa V3? I expect that they would because, you know, LoRa is a standard, so regardless of the hardware, even the brand, it would work just like your network cable plugged into a network card and a switch. They're all different brands, but they all work because Ethernet standards. So LoRa is a standard, and I'd expect it would work. But I wanted to take the approach because I know I'm struggling with support for the V3 board in Arduino IDE, but we've got that covered if you look at my previous video. Yeah, see, here the problem with the V3 board is you can't run the Oli LoRa sender that works perfectly fine on the V2 board. And so I used the V3 factory test sketch and set specific LoRa parameters so my V2 board would need to have a similar set of parameters applied in its sketch. So let's take a look. Yeah, if you watch this video here, I cover everything step by step, the new V3 board, how to get the new library, etc. And it actually comes in when you install the V3 board in Board Manager. And buried in there is the libraries, including this Helltech example with the example sketches. And here under factory test, oh, there's a V2 factory test and a V3 factory test. That means we're going to have a sketch for the V2 that's going to let us set the same LoRa parameters as we have set in the V3 factory test. So the two boards, even though they're different versions, would be able to communicate. Again, to reiterate, you go into board manager, search for ESP32, make sure you have this Helltech ESP32 series dev board 007 installed. That gives you the support for V3. And then the example sketches are down here under Helltech example. There's your factory test, V2, and V3 factory test. Okay, so make sure to watch this video if you have any questions about setting up the new V3 board or using the latest information about the Helltech ESP32 LoRa boards. So here's the V2 factory test sketch, and you can see I've configured it with the same parameters that I have for my V3 board. Okay, well, we're off to the test. There, you see that's the V3 board. And here's the V2 board. They've each been loaded with their corresponding factory test sketch. Go ahead and switch it on. Switching on the V2 board. And they go through the Wi-Fi setup thing where they scan for Wi-Fi networks. And then they begin trying to send LoRa data to each other. There we go. All right, sending, receiving, send number three, receive number three. You see that second line in the display says hello five, hello six, and so on. And the bottom line, it, it won't send if it hasn't received anything. <laughs> That's the interesting part of this sketch is if for some reason the signal gets disrupted. I found when I was doing the range test, I was turning my unit off and on to reinitiate contact if contact was lost. So I hope that answers your question. Please feel free to leave a comment down below if you all have any questions about Helltech LoRa uh, ESP32 boards. Give this video a like. And before you go watch more of my videos about Helltech LoRa boards, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.